to produce. But one of the things I want to say to us is, when you read it, not all the seed that was planted bore the same amount of fruit. Some of them was a hundredfold, some was 60 and some was 30, but they bore fruit nonetheless. So your spiritual ecosystem, it matters. It matters how things is going to strive in it. And listen, I know that I have my tribe here in GCPRM. And I love the saints of God. I, 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 listen, I love who God has put in my care. I love the members and even the ones that aren't members. I love each of you. But having a tribe is not enough. I got to ensure that I examine my soil on a daily basis. And if the ecosystem, the spiritual ecosystem is not right, something is going to happen. There will be no fruit that is coming forth. So the benefits of a healthy soil is that the soil sticks together and it becomes like a sponge-like structure. I'm going to use Sister Danae as an example she loves the Lord and she's just soaking up everything. There is such a zeal that is on her life. She is like a sponge, a good soil that I see. And we got to just pray that God continue. But she's doing what she's supposed to do, that the soil be maintained. Am I talking to the church? So the healthy soil, it suppresses the weed. The healthy soil it captures and stores carbon. The healthy soil, it produces high yield without the need for harmful chemical input. God Almighty, help me, Jesus. Because ain't nothing that we're eating now doesn't have chemicals on it. But this soil, you don't have to add any chemicals because guess what? It's already grounded in God. So the Bible says... Lord, remember David and his affliction, how he swear unto the Lord and vowed unto the mighty God of Jacob. Surely I will not come on into the tabernacle of my house, nor go up into my bed. I will not give sleep to mine eyes or slumber to mine eyelid until I find out a place for the Lord, a habitation for the mighty God of Jacob. So the true believer live in a spiritual habitat. They live in God's habitation. And the word habitation in Hebrew means it, it, it's, it's mishkan, which means a residence, a dwelling place. This word is from another Hebrew word, shakan, which means to reside or permanently stay. It means to abide. So in order for the soil to remain a healthy ecosystem, there has to be a habitation of the glory of God. I wish I had a church. There has to be a habitation that can foster healthy growth. There has to be a habitation of the presence of God with soil so the habitation or a habitat it provides the environment for the growth and for the development and the health so the ecosystem of our spiritual lives it must be conducive to be enabled to spend time in the presence of God and it's one thing, it's good that we can come. I love, I look forward to coming to church on Sundays. I love the fact that the brethren come together. Glory to God. I had one of the new converts and listen, my mommy ain't got to force me no more to come to church. I look forward to coming to church. That shows me good soil. Hey, God, God, God Almighty. That shows me good soil. So he is now his habitat where he is living his spiritual life. The presence of God is there. So if our roots feel dry and thirsty, wounded or stagnant, we got to look at our ecosystem. Look at the other trees around you. 
begin to ask yourself the question, why is it that this one is growing? And I don't feel like I'm growing. I feel like I'm stagnant. Have you ever been in church and there is such a powerful word? I don't have my phone. And there will be persons. Just to clarify, if you see me on it, it's me posting the video on Facebook or looking at my praise and worship song. So just to clarify it. And we have a moment where God is saying, listen, I want to inhabit the praise of my people. Just give me a moment. And God is saying, you should be checking on your ecosystem. Because something has been disturbed in your ecosystem. And the only way for you to get it right is that I got to be the one that you look to. Glory to the name of Jesus. I want to be that place of habitation. Because we said God is our refuge and strength. A present help in the time of trouble. Glory to the name of Jesus. But how can you say that when you're not in the presence of God? And many will say, he that dwell in the sacred place of the most high shall abandon the shadow of the almighty. But where is your habitation? Where are you dwelling? When was the last time you went and you began to cut down the weeds that has been choking the teaching? And the preaching? And the prophetic word after prophetic word after prophetic word? There are those who don't believe that if they don't get a personal prophecy, they don't believe, but the word of God, let me hold it up. This is prophetic. And every prophecy that comes from any prophet's mouth must align with the word of God. So if our ecosystem has been disturbed, we got to ensure seed I want it to stand. Oh, I didn't tell you I did a talk. I, was, I should have been more specific. Come. Yes, you, yes, you're all seed. But may I want them two years to stand now. There is danger lurking for the believer who choose to abandon their God-ordained habitat and ecosystem. The curse of the Lord is on the house of the wicked. But he blesses the home. He blesses the habitation. Your habitation is a place. Where you live is where you dwell. And that's a habitation. And God is saying, listen. I want to be the place where you dwell. We're saying we dwell in the secret place. What secret place? What secret place? Are you thriving and why is it that you're not thriving? Because I don't mean to sound cocky in any way, but I know the word is preached and is taught in this house. So if you're not thriving, check the soil. Stand with me. If your spiritual ecosystem is weak, it's time for you to begin to look into it. It can't just be the Sunday sermon while that is good. And I leave here and I'm glad in the Lord. The question again is, which soil are you? God says that I inhabit the praise of my people. And if God is inhabiting the praise of his people, it means that he is dwelling, he's living on it. But many times we have to pump. I'm not doing that. Because we all must have a relationship with God. I'm going to ask everyone to close their eyes. Close your eyes. And begin to just 
pray within yourselves and say God awaken the purpose and calling that you have called me to do don't compromise the soil water the soil and he sowed and some fell by the wayside. Which soil are you? And the fowls came and devoured them. Which soil are you? Some fell upon stony places where they had not much earth. Which soil are you? And for which they sprung up because they had no deepness of earth if your ecosystem has been disturbed for whatever reason and I hope you understand what I'm trying to say come let me tell you something about this church as a young Christian growing up in the Lord in Jamaica I used to hate going to the altar I'm being honest and the reason I used to hate going to the altar is that I had a sense of persons judging one of the things I love about the leadership of this house you will find them at the altar at any given moment but sometimes our spiritual soil there are thorns there and you just need a little help to clear it come no judgment you're fallen by the wayside come no judgment I'm not in position. I'm not judging nobody. Come. Because God wants our ground to be good. You don't look at the next person beside you. Come. Because God said, we got to deal with the soil. Because God said, the harvest is ripe. And it's ripe in GCPRM. But the soil is not bearing the fruit that it should bear. You're trying to press in the presence of God. And the moment you try to press, you just stop. Because something came and choked you. Play musician. Play, 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 play. The harvest is ripe. And God said, no more in being by the wayside. No more being planted on thorny ground. Because the moment something happened, this is what I'm seeing. It's like an armadillo. You know the, the animal armadillo and they begin to curl up. The moment anything happened, but God said, I'm going to I bless God for oh, Rabba Satan. Because Pastor Shari in the 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 and God said the soil is some of, for some of them is their environment. For some of them is what they're listening to. And who they're listening to. And what they are listening to. For some of them it's a situation because at one moment they were joyful. But now they are being choked. They're being choked. Choked with anxiety. Choked. They want to push. And they love God, but choked. Choked. They're saying, God, I, 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 I choked. God, I, I know I have a desire to worship you, but I feel like I am being choked. God, I, I, I want to pray more, but I feel like I am being choked. God, I feel like the moment I step out, that I'm being trampled on. I'm being, I'm being trampled on. Every time I try to step forward, I'm being 
I'm being, I'm, I'm, I'm being trampled on. I'm being trampled on. But others fell into good ground and brought forth fruit. Some an hundredfold, some sixtyfold, and some thirtyfold. The Bible says, He that had an ear, let him hear. Ask yourself again this question Which soil am I? God wants you to bear the fruit. No more being stagnant. No more being stagnant. It's time to begin to grow. It's time to sprout. Many of you can't grow because of the situation you're in. And the enemy will want to just captivate your mind with everything that is happening on the outside. And the habitation for deliverance is in the house. Can you just raise your hands with me? And say, God, awaken the purpose and calling that is on my life. Lord, as of today, oh God, I make myself the place, God, that you can inhabit. Father, I surrender. Father, replant me. Father, renew me. Father, restore me. Father, make me whole again. Father, make me that soil that will yield the fruit. Make me that soil that will yield the fruit. And as your people, oh God, they've surrendered their soil to you again. For the birds of the ear, oh God, they've taken away the seed. Many has been choked, oh God. Many has fallen by the wayside, but I thank you for Calvary. I thank you for the cross. I thank you for forgiveness. And let me remind you, as the Lord said to do, there are many times we come and we get our breakthrough and our deliverance and the enemy now remember the word is planted don't forget this and I want you to go home and I want you to read it has been planted the word has been planted and make a conscious decision and say God according to your word I am the good soil and I shall bloom where I'm planted God according to your word I am the good soil and I shall advance God according to your word I am the good soil and I shall be obedient no more God will I be choked by the things that you told me not to carry but God says leave it there leave it there don't keep on revisiting the place that caused you to recede for there is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus can I say it again? There is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus who walk not after the flesh. The enemy wants to condemn your soil. Sister, I know the enemy wants to condemn your soil. But the enemy cannot condemn. Who 
what has already been blessed out. Come on. I am a good soil. I'm a good soil. I'm a good soil. I'm a good soil. I'm going to bring forth fruit in its season. My leaves shall not wither. And whatsoever I do it shall prosper. I am a good soil. No longer will I be choked. Oh God. Oh God. Many of you need to believe that, that I'm a good soil. They said a lot about you, but I'm a good soil. They lied on you, but I'm a good soil. They hurt you, but I'm a good soil. They abused you, and they thought. I am a good soil. Look what the soil has produced. Look what the soil has produced. Oh God. This is a Shona, you're a good soil. A good soil, go out and evangelize. I'm a good soil. Get rid of the thorns. No more will you be trampled on. No more will you be tolerated. But you shall be celebrated. I am a good soil. Come on, somebody begin to decree and declare that. I'm a good soil. I'm going to bring forth fruit in its season. Come on, come on. The Bible says that we are the tree that is planted by the rivers of living water. I shall bring forth fruit. my season whichever season you're in I don't know what season you're in I don't know what has eroded your soil I don't know what has stopped your soil from being good but the word of God said I am a good soil and I'm gonna bear fruit I'm gonna bear fruit Come on, decree and declare that I am going to bear fruit. Come on, you got to believe it. I am going to bear fruit. I am going to bear fruit. I'm going to bear the fruit of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace, love, suffering, gentleness, goodness. Come on, I'm going to bear fruit. I am going to bear fruit. I'm going to have self-control. Glory to God, I'm going to love. I'm going to witness. I'm going to have patience. I am bearing fruit. And as of today, allow that tree to be watered by grace. Allow it to be watered by grace. Allow that tree to be watered by the grace of God. That even though you've been written off by men, God is pulling up all of the thorns. My God. The ground is clear for you to grow. The ground is clear for you to advance. The ground is clear for you to have success. The ground is clear. The ground. The ground. The ground is clear. And as of today, I don't care what the enemy comes, I want to plant in it. Say, back up, devil. This is good ground. Back up, devil. I've gotten rid of the thorn. Back up, devil. No longer will I take any abuse from you. This is good ground. My life is good ground. God has invested in every single one of us. Invested in me. Little old me. I look at Brother Jail and Friday after Friday, I call him a little evangelist. This place is packed with your people. Good ground. And I don't care what lies the enemy tell you. You are good ground. And you are going to bloom wherever you're planted. Whatever lies the enemy will tell you, you are good ground. And this is a soil that must cultivate. Good God Almighty. This is a soil that will be cultivated and bring forth fruit. A matter of fact, it's already cultivated. 
the fruit is there Friday after Friday. Yeah. Evidence. Evidence of the fruit, Sister Denae. Come on, raise your hand. I'm done. I'm done. We gotta continue to make declaration of our lives. We gotta continue to do it, saints. Don't let the enemy come and choke it. Because every opportunity that he gets, if you give him an inch, he's going to take a mile. And he's going to want to come and choke the gifts out of you. And the life out of you. I tell you, you're good for nothing. But I'm a good soil. I had to deal with the negative talk of the enemy for years. When I came and understood who I was and who I am in God. It doesn't mean that he doesn't come. It just means that I understand who I am. So I can't entertain the thoughts anymore. I used to entertain the thoughts before I knew that I am a good soul. When the enemy wanted me to take my life, I didn't understand. He came and choked me. But I'm a good soul. So at 17, when I attempted the suicide, oh, look at the sea. Look at the sea. to speak words of life come on some of you speak very negative things over yourself begin to speak words of life I tell people that these hands is not to abuse anyone it's to give embrace and my mouth is not to cut anyone down but to lift them up that's what we're here to do and to bear each other burden I thank God for your humility in stepping forward today and as you walk back to your seat make that declaration don't forget remember the moment you leave here the enemy will try to take this word away but I encourage everyone go back to St. Matthew chapter 13 from verse 1 to I forgot how long I, I read for and begin to decree and declare when you get to that fourth soul, say, God, I am that fourth soul that is good. God bless you. God keep you. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, even now, as your daughter has poured out, I pray, God, that you will water her soil again. 
anoint her soil again. Oh God, strengthen her soil again. Weed her soil again. We thank you, God, for the word. We thank God for the spoken word today, for the preached word today, for the word prophesied over our lives. Sometimes it's what we need. We have to shift. Hallelujah. And I can leave here declaring that I am a good soil. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Give God a hand clap. Come on, give God a hand clap. Glory to God. Amen. We're going to ask the ushers to come. Amen. And while we're on the topic of soils, let me just tell you about this soil in this house that it produces and it produces much. And Pastor JJ, there's many testimony that's going to come about some seeds that have been planted in this ground. Their testimonies are ready. They just haven't been shared publicly yet about the miracles that has taken place because this is good ground. God's chosen prophetic restoration ministry, it is good ground. Not because I'm one of the pastors. Because I pastored in a church that was a good ground. So I know good ground, Pastor O. When I see it, I know good ground. I'm going to ask you to sow into this good ground. Give back according to how God has blessed you. For some, it may have to be a sacrificial seed. But give unto the Lord. Because this is good ground. I know this ground. That's a, oh, I'm a product of this ground. I look, minister, you are a product of this ground. For sure. Sister, welcome. You're a product of this ground. Sister Yanni, hey, we don't got, you already know what time it is. <laughs> My good God, evangelist, you are good ground. And look at her walking, hallelujah. Oh God, when the enemy came in like a flood, it couldn't erode the soil. My good God, it don't matter the storms that come. This soil cannot be washed away because it is good ground. And we give because we have. And we have because we give. And we declare, therefore, we shall never be in wants and never be in needs. That everything that we plant in good ground, that it shall produce, it shall be multiplied, it shall be doubled, it will be tripled. My God. And as you come and you give, Just say something to God. I don't know what you need your ground to produce. Glory be to God. But God is doing something in our midst. God is doing something in GCPRM. And I see the fruits that are bearing as we speak. I see it. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Father, we thank you for every seed that was sowed, for every tithe, for every offering. Some God gave out of their nothing. Oh God, but will you multiply it? I curse the canker worm, the palmer worm, and the caterpillar that comes to attach itself so that our harvest, God, will be decreased. But there's no decrease in this house and anyone connected to this house. We are on good soil, and this is the evidence, God, that we're on good soil. Will you bless us now?
multipliers, promoters, for those that are in need, God, of a job. We pray that you will open up doors. Those that need promotions, we pray that the door promotions, it will be open. Increase our bank account and reduce our debt. Oh God, cause our pocket never to have holes and never be empty. And we declare that this house is blessed. We declare that your people are blessed. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Hallelujah. Amen, amen. You may be seated. Amen. Okay. Just as a way of reminder, well, a couple of announcements. It is Brother Joanne's birthday. Brother Joanne, stand so they can see who you are. He's like, Auntie. <laughs> and the little sister, of course. Amen. I mean, the little big sister. She is the eldest one. Amen. And I love this. I love this young man. Amen. Um, you know, he works with me sometimes. Amen. And what did I say? With us. Sister Yannick. Um, with some of us in here. You, you feel better now? Amen. And I just see how he carries himself. And he carries himself so well. And I just want to bless God that he allowed you to see. How old are you today? 20? You're in a church. <laughs> how, how old are you now? 20? A good ripe 20. Amen. <laughs> Amen. But such a humble young man. God bless you and God keep you. Another important announcement. Remember Friday is what? Revival. Re Friday is what? Revival. What time? Uh, Sunday is what? Revival. What time? Uh, it's like they don't. Did y'all know that it's going to be revival on Friday at 7:30 p.m. On Sunday morning is a regular service, but it's a revival service at 11 a.m. and then again at 6:30 p.m. on Sunday. Six, six p.m. on Sunday. Forgive me, I'm Jamaican. And I am asking every single person in this room, will you please come out and support? Amen. Amen. Can, you, can you show hands who's going to be here? Show hands who's going to be here. I'm, I'm looking around and I, 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 I'm taking count. And if I don't, if I don't see y'all, I'm coming. I'm, hey, why Jada hand? Who's, who's coming? Amen. Our bishop, our bishop will be here. Two bishops will be here. Bishop and bishop. And they both will be here. And I'm expecting, amen, a great time. God has already started revival in this house. You know how I know? Turn around and look behind you. That's how I know that revival has begun. Because souls are being saved. And that is a good sign of revival. Amen. 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 Sister Denea, you are being revived. Amen. What you're experiencing is revival. Amen. You don't know what to do with yourself. But that is called revival. Amen. And we bless God. Hallelujah. And then Saturday, for those of us um, that are going to support, amen. Amen. Minister Sean in Jersey. What time are we meeting up here, Pastor? 